Das Boot is a 1981 West German war film written and directed by Wolfgang Petersen, produced by Gunter Rohrbach. The film is set during World War II and follows U-96 and her crew as they set out on a hazardous patrol in the Battle of the Atlantic. It depicts both the excitement of battle and the tedium of the fruitless hunt and shows the men serving aboard U-boats as ordinary individuals with a desire to do their best for their comrades and their country. Plot In October 1941, war correspondent Lt. Werner, played by Herbert Gronmeyer, has been assigned to join the crew of the German submarine U-96 on their upcoming assignment. He joins the sub's captain, played by Jürgen Prochnow, and the chief engineer, played by Klaus Wenmann, as they attend a celebration with the rest of the crew at a French bordello. The crew lovingly refers to the captain as the old man. At the celebration, another sub-captain, Thompson played by Otto Sander, gets up and delivers a drunken speech to celebrate his Ritterkreuz award. In the speech, he makes some disparaging remarks about Adolf Hitler and the war, but ultimately ends the speech in a celebratory tone. The next day, the U-96 sails out of the La Rochelle harbor and begins its mission. Werner is given a tour of the sub and is shocked at how close quarters life is on a submarine. He soon discovers that the ideological differences of the crew vary greatly. The hardened veterans, like the captain and the chief engineer, are embittered and cynical about the war. However, some of the younger men, like the sub's first officer played by Hubertus Bengsch, are very much for the war and believe in Hitler's goals. Days pass on the boat without much excitement. The crew becomes excited when they are informed of another U-boat spotting of an enemy convoy. The U-96 rushes to join the attack, but they are spotted by a British destroyer in rough seas. The U-96 is forced to dive deep under the water and are bombarded with depth charges by the destroyer. The sub escapes with only light damage, but without being able to sink any ships in the convoy. The U-96 spends the next three weeks at sea with no combat action and a constant North Atlantic gale. The spirits of the crew are briefly buoyed by a chance encounter with Thompson's boat at sea. After the storm ends, the sub discovers a British convoy and attacks. They launch four torpedoes under the cover of darkness and sink two ships in the convoy. However, they are spotted by a destroyer and have to dive deeper than the ship is designed for to escape destruction. The chief machinist, Johann played by Erwin Leder, suffers a mental breakdown during the destroyer's attack and has to be restrained when he tries to climb out of the ship while it is submerged. The sub suffers heavy damage, but they are eventually able to safely resurface. When the U-96 emerges, they discover a British tanker that they torpedoed still on fire and afloat. The captain orders one last torpedo to sink the ship. When the torpedo hits, the crew is shocked and appalled that there are still crew on the ship who are forced to jump into the North Atlantic to avoid sinking with the tanker. The British crewmen begin to swim towards the U-96, and the captain orders the ship to pull back knowing that they cannot take on prisoners. The men of the U-96 are aware that the British sailors will die in the sea and are disturbed by it. After several months at sea, the crew looks forward to returning home in time for Christmas. However, the captain receives a communique ordering him to La Spezia, Italy. The journey will require the sub to pass through the Strait of Gibraltar, a highly defended British stronghold. The sub is in desperate need for supplies and fuel, so they rendezvous with a German merchant ship that secretly provides them with munitions, fuel, and food. The captain requests from command to leave Werner and the chief engineer with the merchant ship knowing that the sub will likely not survive the trip to La Spezia. The chief engineer is concerned for his wife due to a bombing in his hometown. However, command denies the captain's request and the two men continue on with the sub. The crew departs for Italy under cover of night. As they approach of Gibraltar, they are attacked by a British warplane and sustain heavy damage. The chief navigator, Creechbaum played by Baron Tauber, is severely wounded in the attack. 
The plane's attack alerts the British ships to the sub's presence, and the crew is forced to dive. The damage from the combined attacks from the air and sea causes the sub to not respond to commands, and the sub continues to submerge further than the captain intends. The crew fears that the sub will be crushed by that water pressure as it passes beyond the boat's crush depth. The sub crashes onto the sea bottom and begins to take on water. The crew works frantically to repair the ship before they drown or they run out of oxygen. After 16 uncertain hours, the sub systems begin to come back online and the captain is able to resurface the boat and slowly make its way back to La Rochelle, its mission to travel to Italy failing. U-96 arrives back at La Rochelle on Christmas Eve. The crew disembarks and Creechbaum is taken away in an ambulance. Allied planes attack the submarine base with bombs and bullets while the U-96 crew is still on the dock. The crew runs for cover in all directions. Many of the crew are injured. The U-96 is hit by a bomb and begins to sink in the harbor. Warner leaves the safety of the U-boat bunker and observes the captain, who is severely wounded by shrapnel, watches ship sink from sight. Once the sub disappears from view, the captain collapses on the dock and dies. About the film The director of DOS Boot is Wolfgang Peterson, who also co-wrote the screenplay with Lothar G. Buchheim. The movie adaptation of DOS Boot was based on Buchheim's best-selling novel, which was inspired by his own experiences as a war correspondent aboard a German U-boat during World War II. The casting of Das Boot includes Jürgen Prochnow as Captain Heinrich Lehmann Willenbrock, Herbert Gronmeyer as Lieutenant Werner, Klaus Wenmann as Chief Engineer Fritz Grade, and many other talented actors who portrayed the crew members of the U-boat. The filming and production of Das Boot took place in Germany, primarily in Bavaria. The movie was shot in various locations, including studios and actual submarines, to achieve a realistic portrayal of life aboard a U-boat. The music and soundtrack of Das Boot were composed by Klaus Doldinger. The score is known for its atmospheric and intense compositions, capturing the tension and claustrophobia of the submarine setting. The main theme, Das Boot, has become iconic and synonymous with the film. The film was released on September 17, 1981, in Germany. It received international distribution and garnered critical acclaim and commercial success in various countries. The exact investment and box office figures of Das Boot are not available. However, it was one of the most expensive films in German cinema and was a commercial success. Das Boot received widespread critical acclaim upon its release. It was praised for its realistic portrayal of war, the gripping tension it generated, and its exploration of the psychological toll on the crew. The film was nominated for six Academy Awards, including Best Director and Best Adapted Screenplay. The legacy of Das Boot lies in its influential portrayal of submarine warfare and its impact on subsequent war films. It is regarded as one of the greatest war films ever made and has influenced filmmakers and audiences alike. As for sequels and franchise, Das Boot was followed by a TV miniseries titled Das Boot 2018, which serves as a sequel to the events of the movie. The miniseries further explores the U-boat crew's experiences during World War II. 10 Interesting Facts About Das Boot Movie 1. Das Boot is based on the novel of the same name by Lothar Gunther Buchheim, who was a war correspondent during World War II. 2. It was filmed in a life-size replica of a Type 7 U-boat, built specifically for the movie. For interior shots of the submarine, the production used a full-scale steel replica. 3. The crew underwent intense training to simulate the conditions and routines of a real U-boat crew. 4. Das Boot was nominated for six Academy Awards, including Best Director and Best Adapted Screenplay. 5. The cast was deliberately kept indoors continually during the shooting period in order to look as pale as a real submarine crew would on a mission at sea. 6. The submarine models were also used in Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981. 
7. The movie was shot silent because of exaggerated camera noise in the submarine interiors. All German and English dialogue had to be looped. 8. The scene in which the navigation officer takes an astronomical sight using a sextant is very accurate. The actor is even filmed rocking the sextant from side to side, which is not very known to non-sailors. 9. Rutger Hauer was offered to play the captain, but turned it down to do Blade Runner, 1982. 10. The film's budget was initially limited, but its success allowed for a director's cut release with additional scenes and extended runtime. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos and don't forget to press like button and share.